Okay. So uh, I didn't, I didn't want to have to make this video, but uh, you guys deserve it, and so do I. First things first, very clearly the ambulance isn't here. It's in the title of the video. This is the spot that it was in, and uh, it's, it's not here anymore. I know what people are gonna say, I know what people are gonna think, and I just, I gotta tell you guys what's going on. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me over the past couple of months, uh, where is Ham, and how's the ambulance coming along, and I, I gotta say some shit, and it's, it's gonna get a little bit personal, and uh, it's not something that I've wanted to talk about, but not only do you guys deserve to hear what's going on, I mean, it's something you guys have invested in. It's also something that's really important to me, and I feel like that I'm, I've, uh, I'm owed this a little bit. That hurts, that hurts a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna keep it as respectful as I possibly can. And what I'm gonna talk about is, I've already talked with Ham about, it's not like I'm saying anything behind his back. I wanna keep that 100% clear, that this is, this is honest, and it's a little bit suck. You know, and without going into everything, uh, let you guys in on exactly what's happened. So a lot of people have asked me uh, where Ham is, and he hasn't been on the channel in quite some time. He doesn't he doesn't work with me anymore. He uh, he's got a new job and he's doing his own thing, and uh, which is great. Very very happy and proud for him. But there was some issues that we ran into with uh, the ambulance. Starting from the beginning, the deal was that uh, Ham would stay at my house. Uh, rent free until we got the ambulance done and he would also record and edit my videos um, Which I, I paid him for at the time and I would also do all the work on the ambulance free of charge um, For the labor and whatnot without getting too far into people's business uh, my expectations were, were not getting met and uh, My enthusiasm for the build and the channel and whatnot were not being matched, right? So this went on for a little while. I was like, hey man, this, this isn't really working out the way I want it to, so how about um, we'll continue with the deal. I'll take over the editing and the video recording. Come here every day and prep the shop and clean it up after I get done working, and I'll still pound away at the ambulance build. I, I'll take over the videos. I just need you to clean the shop. And then eventually those expectations weren't getting met, and my enthusiasm for the build was not being shared, which hurt me a little bit because like, I had invested my own money into this thing, and I'd also had parts sponsored for this thing. It's just, it's, you know, hindsight's 2020, and shit happens. I don't really have an explanation for it other than that, you know. Due to um, his own personal decisions and poor money management, he ran out of budget for the ambulance. He did some parts, and he did some resources. It still has a title issue that he needs to take care of, and the transmission he still needs to fix. So all of that compounded, after storing it here for a little while, realizing that the budget isn't gonna come for a little while, uh, I was like, hey man, I, I need my shot back. And uh, he was like, I, I get it, very fair. And it really does suck because I knew I'd have to bring up some of the personal shit that I didn't wanna put on the channel in order for you guys to understand what, what happened. You know, It's not like I just sat around and waited for the build to not get done. I really gave it my all, 100, I really gave this thing my all 100% of the way. It's not a him versus me thing. I'm not calling him out. We have had our discussions about this and we both agree that I, I have to make a video about this and, and talk about it. There's no reason to beat somebody up or anything like that. We've had, we've had our resolve. We've talked about it. Let's say like buried the hatchet, right? It just sucks, man, because it's like, I was really excited about getting this thing done and now it's, it's on hold. I do have intentions of finishing it up whenever it comes back. I suppose I would be lying if I said I wasn't selfishly excited to get most of my shop back. Like, I'm, I'm stoked on this. I can really focus on a lot of my own personal stuff that I've been needing to, and I can really start knocking out some of the stuff that you guys wanna see and start my business for you guys, because that's it's a community-based business, and I really needed the space for the business, so. And most importantly, I hope you guys understand uh, this has not been easy for me at any any part of this. It has been 100% suck all the way through from start to finish, trying to like piece this together and how I was gonna make the video and all the work that came before it. But I think you guys get it. I'm looking forward to move forward and I want nothing but the best for Ham in the future too. Like, like I said, still love him like a brother. And I think that's really about it. I, I don't really have much more that I wanna say. Uh, anytime you just start start bitching too much, you just seem like an asshole. And I really just don't want that. It's, it's not productive, it's not fun. But I wanna say thank you guys for the long time love and support, and uh, we'll work on the ambulance whenever it shows back up. Um, in the meantime, we're back on the Camaro and the Dually. So, yeah. Let's get back to work, guys.